Hello and welcome. I have a huge art haul to share with you guys. So let's start. First up, the Hanamura watercolor book, which is which is made of 100% cotton, 250 grams and 60 pages, which I want to practice more wet and wet techniques and landscapes. And I came across this paper, which is made of stone, which seems to be, I'm not, I don't speak German, but the words that I can read are, you can use it for markers, fine liner, and acry acryl, acryl paint. So I just wanted to try it out, so I bought it. Next up, these two Schmincke watercolors. These were on sale and I seem to be going through the yellow paint quite quickly so I just thought I will buy I just wanted to buy both of these I bought a quite a lot of paper from the Fabriano 1264 line because there was a sale one plus one if you bought the same kind of pad same size same everything so this is the sketch paper and it's 90 GSM and it comes with 60 sheets and I already sketched a little bit in it as you can see it's quite smooth and it's not um, I will compare it to the mixed media it's an off-white color So it's quite nice. I quite like using this uh, sketchbook just to experiment and do some different or improve all my drawing skills. So I bought two of those. I also got a few mixed media pads which are pretty sturdy, they are 3 on the GSM A4 size to the sheets and as I showed you before it says a very white paper and a very smooth texture so I bought 4 of these I quite like I, I like to use this paper for wash and more pen and ink I also got two of the Bristol paper, which is a pad of 200 GSM, also A4, and 50 sheets of paper. And I think you can see here a little bit text blurb, which is what it's meant for. And I think I'm going to use it for marker. Or fine liner I don't know we'll see it wasn't that expensive and I wanted to try it out I also bought four of these watercolor sketchbooks which contain 25% cotton 300 GSM and 30 sheets 30 sheets a sketchbook I already tried this one out. As you can see, I only showed you three of them. The first one I'm already using, which I'm just playing with and quite enjoying. This is, by the way, a wet on wet technique. I want to see how it would look. This one is with the liquid charcoal of Schwinke. I have the cherry pit one. which I actually like how it looks on this paper and this is a tiny sketch with uh, pastel watercolors from Schmincke or the icy watercolors I also own a pad with Winter and Newton 
watercolor paper with 25% cotton, which seems to be more texture, if you can see. And I wanted to do the same type of swatches on here and it looks quite different. I like the texture of the Fabiano watercolor paper. And it's the Schminke Lapis Lazuli. And I swatched both of them on here and the same with the Schminke Hawkers Green. Just to try out and see what the difference. I re-swatched the granulated watercolor on the Winter Newton 25% cotton watercolor paper. It's also 300 GSM, but as you can see, it granulates different than on the Fabiano 1264 watercolor paper. It has more of. It tends to get into the grooves of or into the watercolor. It tends to get into the watercolor paper, so you get a very distinctive granulation. Last but not least, the Power Room and Watercolors. It's the 14 color Oprah Watercolor Tube Series. That was a mouthful. I never tried Power Room and Watercolors, and I saw these colors, and I thought it's just like highlighter in the tube. I want to try it out. So we're going to swatch this as well. These are the watercolor tubes and I'm going to swatch them on the Fabiano 1264 watercolor paper. I'm just going to squeeze a bit out just to try. It's a hammer stop. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. It just came out like this. Oh my gosh. It's time to swatch the colors. It's been a few days, so let's find out how easily they reactivate, since I want to put them in the palette. The yellow. I have to say these colors, oh wow. Oh my god. The yellow is just... Okay, that's my first impression.
course they have very gorgeous watercolors god look at these pretty vibrant watercolors i don't see any pigment information on the tube as you can see it only says the name of the watercolor Then I can't read what it says on the back. They rewet pretty easily. Oh my god. They look so vibrant. Let's compare these watercolors to actual <laughs> highlighters. This is, by the way, a liquid highlighter. See the two yellow highlighters, or the watercolor highlighter and the liquid highlighter. I also have an orange, I think it's closest to this one. Um, I guess in between. Like they match pretty nicely. The pink one. I have to say, I think this one is one of my favorites. It might be the... Let's see if it's... I think it closely resembles this one. Let's look next to this one. It looks like a little, the watercolor looks literally like a highlighter. The purple, a purple highlighter. I think this one. Oh. It matches as well. A blue highlighter, which doesn't look like a real highlighter. At least this one. But I think it's pretty hard to make a blue highlight like color. The green one. Can you see the watercolor just matches the brightness of the marker? Or the highlighter or at least close to uh, it's beautiful it's like liquid highlighter this is liquid highlight <laughs> it's highlighted in watercolor form i look forward to playing with these just to put some highlight touches to the watercolor paintings Now I want to put them all in a separate palette.
thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.